Hey, thanks to your feedback, the Remove tool just got a huge improvement based on what you've been asking us to do. So let me show you what the, what the problem was and how it's been fixed. So first and foremost, the Remove tool in Photoshop has the ability to use Auto, which it may or may not use Generative AI. Generative AI all the time, or don't use Generative AI at all. And if you had it on Auto or Off, then chances are, it, or even on, chances are it may or may not remove your item instead by replacing it. So for example, the old Photoshop, I want to remove this guy's hands and this jar, sometimes would do this. It would actually remove them, but then replace it with something new. And that's not what I wanted. So now, thanks to the new remove tool, I'm gonna to use Generative AI on. And now when I go in and just brush this area, make sure I get it all. Yeah, we'll get it all there. And if you leave some, then that definitely signals the tool that you want to replace something. So I'm gonna make sure I get it all so it doesn't think I wanna replace it with something new. I'll let go, and then we'll just let it calculate. And just like that, it actually removed it. Didn't replace it, didn't put something new there. It did what I wanted it to do. And it's also got better with making selections. So remember when we first started out, you would basically make a selection of what you wanted to remove. And then you would use the prompt with nothing in it and then click remove. Now, instead of hitting gender to fill or typing the word in remove or leaving it blank, there's actually a remove button right here that uses generative AI to do that. And this is not something you have to turn on or off. It's just there and it uses generative AI every time to remove instead of replace. So thanks for your feedback. It was taken to heart and the Photoshop team made that improvement just for you. Go update your Photoshop today and you'll have it. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.